When the episode titles were first released for season 7, I was able to guess what each title told me about its respective episode, except Singapore. Now, episode 5 is right around the corner and I have an interesting theory you will like. Singapore does not have a significant meaning anywhere in the Outlander book series, so this title is specifically for the show. Our characters are far from Singapore. Most are in the middle of the Revolutionary War, and the other two are in Scotland. So, Singapore must be a mysterious title to hide a major plot point. When you search what Singapore means, different information comes up. Some say the word means Lion City, while Portuguese sources provide another name for Singapore. They use a phrase that means wrong, tricky, or challenging interruption of the voyage, or place to stay. This is where I did something. I looked at what happens in the Outlander books around this time in the story. I learned that Buck Mackenzie, Galis, and Dougal's son travels to the future and finds the Mackenzies. Buck was just briefly seen in season 5. Then he was portrayed by Graham McTavish, but new cast members were announced this season. Dear Maid Myrta will play the new Buck. His journey to Lallybrock could refer to the challenging interruption of a place to stay in the meaning of the name given to Singapore. He could come and visit the Mackenzies and cause an interruption. Also, do you remember what Jemmy talked about in the previous episode? He was referring to mythological creatures outside of their home. One of them was a knucklevy, a horse-like demon. He said he took biscuits and crisps to the creature because it would take Mandy if he didn't. So I'm guessing it's actually Buck who is outside of Lallybrock watching the Mackenzies, and when he saw the kids, he asked for food. He scared them by telling them he was a knucklevy so they wouldn't tell Bree and Roger. What do you think? The synopsis for episode 6 talks about Roger discovering the identity of the mysterious Nuclevi. So episode 5 could show us more evidence that Buck is here and episode 6 could finally show him. The name given to Singapore by the Portuguese also means something like you arrive there and it is not what you had expected. This could refer to Bree's new job. She is going into a male-dominated field, and if her co-workers are anything like her boss, they will definitely be sexist. After all this theorization, let's look at the preview to see what the new footage tells us. The preview starts with Roger and Bree reading another one of Jamie and Claire's letters. They learn that Bree's parents are in Fort Ticonderoga. We already knew that from the previous episode. They were on their way there. Then the preview moves on to battle preparations. Jamie brings together a band of men and talks to commanders. He says they are vulnerable to attack. While Claire is helping the sick as a surgeon, she works under a man who thinks he is a surgeon. So, there will be problems here. I can feel it. Then you can see Bree walking into her first day in her new work. All she sees are grown men looking weirdly at her. She is the new inspector and will most likely give them orders. I'm sure they won't like this at all. While Jamie warns the commander once more about the upcoming cannon fire, a lovely scene emerges. It's young Ian and Rachel Hunter. I told you guys these two would have something going on between them. But I also fear young Ian getting close enough to someone because of Archbug. As you know, he swore to take something worthy from young Ian. I'm scared that something will happen between young Ian and Rachel, and that will get ruined by Archbug. The preview then ends with multiple shots of battle scenes. The British are here. It doesn't look like the American side is ready for the attack, so they will probably lose this battle. I will also mention the synopsis for this episode, but it doesn't really provide anything extra. In Ticonderoga, Jamie and Claire prepare for an imminent British attack. Roger compiles time travel information while Brianna earns the respect of her co-workers. Well, at least it's nice to learn that Brianna earns the respect of her co-workers. That's pretty much it. I'm sure another great episode is coming. I'm really excited to see Buck, even though I'm not sure if we'll see him in this episode. I also don't know why he traveled to the future. What could he want? We'll learn. What do you think about this? Have you been enjoying the season so far? What will happen in episode 5? Tell me below. Don't forget to like and share this video. Subscribe to next season for more videos like this. See you soon.